sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your eyes. Sway in the morning. Say four, five, eight minutes into the hour. Press Love is here. Press Love is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beatboxer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Absolutely, yeah. man. Now beatboxer. That's my 13th job. Yo, that was dope, though. <laughs> The moment, Sway. It was a moment, man. We go for moments here, Quest. You know about that, man. I'm all about moments, I yeah. remember back in the mid-'90s, man, my partner, King Tech, and I doing the Wake Up Show. Mm -hmm. We're such big fans of The Roots, and this was before people really knew who The Roots were, coming out of Philadelphia, home of Gamble and Huff, and all this rich Philadelphia history when it came to music. And I don't know if you remember this, Quest. I remember every Sway and Tech interaction we ever had. You remember? Even the Marla Gibbs Playhouse thing. That's the one I was about to bring up. <laughs> What's that? Well, we don't know about it. <laughs> do tell. We don't know about that. Wow. What year was that probably, you think? Marla Gibbs Playhouse was in 97. 97? 97, 97. Yeah. Florence from the Jefferson? She had her own playhouse in the hood. In Lamarck Park in, um, in L.A. In Los Which Angeles. Which is weird because now, isn't that like, isn't it gentrified? Yeah, it's gentrified, <laughs> man. It looks like uh, Williamsburg here in Brooklyn. Yeah. Now, okay, know. so she had a, a park where people performed? Well, it was a theater. A, a theater. Okay. That she owned. And, um, and you couldn't bring hip-hop into that theater because the location it was and the neighborhood it was at that time. <laughs> Yeah, it was a yeah. lot of bl red and blue. Okay. And we were on a station out there. We didn't give a damn. We like, we well, we could walk in any place, any hood. Mm -hmm. And so we did a a concert, a wake-up show concert. Um, and those concerts eventually became Rock the Bells, in a sense. Yeah. You know, uh, and we were doing a, a wake-up show concert. And we asked Quest and them to come down and just be the house band. Wow. And... People hadn't seen what they do. You know, they didn't, they didn't understand. Nobody had kind of seen People still don't know. No, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> they really don't know, right? Like they're, they just, they're just discovering us right now. You know what I'm saying? But so. isn't that a beautiful thing? Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, to be trending some 20 years later. Yeah. It's like I, I tell people now, um, this is kind of like the, what do they call Fables, like the, the tortoise and the hare. Yeah. Where, mm -hmm. you know... I, it, it's kind of weird. Yeah. You know, we're a little surreal to sort of arrived, quote mm -hmm. unquote, arrived some 20 years after we were under the, the radar. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but. But do you know, but that creates the best foundation, number one. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, we've always been workers. Uh -huh. And the thing, the thing with hip hop is like, hip hop is such an aspirational narrative like it's always a racks to riches story like i made it mm -hmm. i made it but normally the the winners are celebrated like the winner circle in hip-hop is a very small tight mm -hmm. kind of illuminati-ish circle mm -hmm. that's hard to to penetrate or break through yeah um so rarely do people celebrate the you know the kind of the 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 blue collar version of yeah. the mc or the working mc or the mm -hmm. or that type of thing so um. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 weird to get here, but I'm I'm happy we're here. Yeah, I'm happy you're here too. At that time, too, to finish the story, these guys played, and everybody from Chino XL to Exhibit to Gangstar mm -hmm. to I believe KRS One came out. Yep. Um, Outcast were there before people knew who Outcast wow, were. Goody okay. Mob was there. Um, and it was a pre Rock the Bells. It was a pre Rock the Bells, yeah. and they played everybody's music and. And speaking about some the blue collar MC that's um or hip hop uh, uh enthusiast that's very seldom celebrated, I think Tariq Black Thought, in my opinion, when we talk about who are the best of all time, he's someone who's constantly overlooked. Why do you think that is? That just ha you you want to know something funny? This this uh this past Saturday we we had our um like our sixth annual Roots picnic. Mm-hmm. And we kind of have a formula for it. And usually we have a classic artist collaborate with The Roots. So this year, you know, first few years, one was Nas. And we did Wu-Tang one year. We did the entire Nation of Millions, a record with Public Enemy. Um, various artists. So this year was Naughty by Nature. And man, it was like, even as I'm playing it and seeing the crowd reaction, I was like, wow, Naughty by Nature is never, hardly ever mentioned Mm -hmm. on any like top five groups of all time whatever but they have like bonafide 
nine, ten classics. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone's mouthing the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Tretch could straight up just Bobby Brown and, y'all sing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Like, c- classics. And so, I mean, some, I mean, some people, I guess sometimes it's so obvious that you just ignore it. Yeah. Like, I never put Michael Jackson's Thriller as one of my favorite records of all time because... It's just too obvious. It's, yeah. it's bigger than just an album. It's like mm-hmm. a social event. So, yeah. I mean, I guess with Tariq, he's just known as such a, a, a skilled craftsman of, of 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 his art that yeah. it's just like, oh, yeah, Tariq rhymes good. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, you oh, that's Black Thought. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah right. you just sort of shrug it off. But I mean, there's a lot of in, there's a lot of those in hip hop. Mm-hmm. You know that you just take for granted, and mm-hmm. sometimes you have to step outside of it. So. Yeah, I had that moment with Naughty by Nature this weekend. Yeah. I was like, wow, I'll never mention. And the, their their stage show is incredible. It's ridiculous. Like things I look for, like mm-hmm. eye contact and mm-hmm. how they communicate with the audience. Mm-hmm. And that's a, it's, I've never, I will now officially put Naughty by Nature in my, they deserve it. You they know deserve what I mean? it, man. Quest Love is here, man. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.